Open the box and remove contents. Enclosed is an instruction manual plus a fit test record sheet. Ensure all the contents are included. Attach the hood to the collar by placing drawstring between the flanges on the collar. Tighten drawstring and tie off. Note, ensure the hole in the collar is facing to the front of the hood window panel. Gently remove the lid on the nebulizer unit. Pour a small amount, approximately one teaspoon or five mil, of sensitivity solution into the nebulizer number one. Pour the same amount of fit test solution into the second nebulizer labeled number two. Immediately recap the solution bottles and nebulizers. Ensure both plugs on the nebulizers are removed during use. Test to ensure nebulizer is working by squeezing the bulb and a fine mist should be seen. Prepare the respiratory mask to be tested. Don the mask and ensure it is comfortable, then conduct a negative or positive pressure fit check to ensure an adequate seal. Negative pressure check involves covering the filters and inhaling. Note, any air coming into the mask, adjust and repeat until you have an adequate seal. This will be noticed by the mask gently collapsing on the face. Positive pressure check involves covering the exhalation valve and gently exhaling. If you feel warm air escaping around the mask, an adequate seal has not been achieved. Adjust and repeat until an adequate seal is achieved. Sensitivity test. This pre-test is completed to ensure that the wearer can detect a bitter taste of the solution at very low levels. The sensitivity test solution is a very dilute version of the fit test solution. Sensitivity test steps. Have the test subject put on the hood and collar assembly without a respirator. Position the hood assembly forward so that there is as much room as possible between the subject's face and hood window. Instruct the test subject to breathe through their mouth with tongue extended. Using nebulizer number one with the sensitivity solution one, inject the aerosol into the hood through the hole in the hood window. Slowly inject 10 squeezes of the bulb, fully collapsing and allowing the bulb to expand fully on each squeeze. Both plugs on the nebulizer must be removed from the openings during use. The nebulizer must be held in an upright position to ensure aerosol generation. A fine mist should be visible. Ask the test subject if they can detect a bitter taste of the solution. If tasted, note the number of squeezes as 10 and proceed to the fit test. Round up to the nearest 10. For example, 15 squeezes equals 20. 23 squeezes equals 30. If not tasted, inject an additional 10 squeezes of the aerosol into the hood. Repeat with 10 more squeezes if necessary. Note whether 20 or 30 squeezes produced a taste response. If 30 squeezes are inadequate in that the test subject does not detect a bitter taste, the test is ended. Another type of fit test must be used. Remove the test hood and give the subject a few minutes to clear their taste it may be helpful to have the subject rinse their mouth with water. Fit test. Have the test subject don the respirator and perform a fit check. Have the subject put on and position the test hood as done with sensitivity test. Breathe through their mouth with tongue extended. Using nebulizer two with fit test solution two, inject 10 squeezes, fully collapsing and allowing the bulb to expand fully on each squeeze. The nebulizer must be held in an upright position to ensure aerosol generation. To maintain an adequate concentration of aerosol during this test, following your sensitivity test result, inject half the number of squeezes, 5, 10 or 15, every 30 seconds for the duration of the fit test procedure. For example, if you tasted the solution in 10 squeezes, then inject 5 every 30 seconds. After the initial injection of aerosol, the test subject will perform each of the following test exercises for 60 seconds while injecting the required number of squeezes as noted in point five of the test. Normal breathing. Deep breathing. Turning head side to side. Moving head up and down talking, bending over, normal breathing. The test is terminated at any time bitter taste of aerosol is detected by the subject because this indicates an inadequate fit. 
Wait 15 minutes and perform the fit test again. Repeat the fit test after redonning and readjusting the respirator. A second failure may indicate that a different size or model respirator is needed. If the entire test is completed without the subject detecting the aerosol, the test is successful and respirator fit has been demonstrated. Periodically, check the nebulizer to make sure that it is not clogged. If clogging is found, clean the nebulizer and retest. Upon completion of test, populate respiratory fit test record and store accordingly. Cleaning. At the end of each session, or at least every four hours, discard the unused solution from the nebulizers. Warning, do not pour unused solution from the nebulizer back into the bottle. Unused solution must be disposed of. Rinse the nebulizers with warm water to prevent clogging and shake dry. Wipe out the inside of the hood with a cloth or paper towel to remove any deposited test solution. Mm -hmm.